Hello there, ESL learners of the world. My name is Teacher Fabi, and today I want to talk to you about why I hate grammar. Yes, I hate grammar. And why do I hate grammar? Because most of my students struggle when speaking because all they think about is grammar. Sometimes I ask my students a question, and the first thing they do is look up. So what are they doing when they're looking up? Well, they're actually looking for the correct grammar structure of the sentence. So that is why they struggle when speaking, and that impedes their fluency and their improvement. So you might be asking yourself, like, hey, Fabi, are you telling me not to learn grammar? <laughs> well, no, I'm not telling you not to learn grammar. I'm just telling you to forget about grammar when speaking. Yes, forget about it. If you make a mistake, it's okay. It's absolutely okay to make mistakes. Remember that mistakes are nothing more than lessons in disguise. So when speaking, please forget about grammar. Even native speakers make grammar mistakes. Even myself sometimes when I forget <laughs> some, some things. And you know, I've been a teacher for so long. I've been teaching for over 10 years now to students from all over the world. And if you have watched my previous videos, uh, you know that I have made over 307 videos on grammar. Yes, on grammar. Um, unfortunately, my previous channel was stolen from me, but maybe that was uh, more like, I should say, fortunately, it was stolen from me because, well, it was all about grammar. But now, in this new channel, I do want to teach you how to speak English correctly, how to speak English naturally. So, take some time to think about how you learned your native language. How did you learn Spanish? How did you learn Arabic? How did you learn Chinese or Japanese? Did you focus on grammar when you were learning? No, you did not. You focused on trying. You always tried to speak. And when we are young children, we are basically mostly visual learners. And we learn by trial and error. So we look at something and we're like, oh, mom, what's this? Oh, well, that's a phone. That's a, the, a smartphone or whatever you want to call it. <laughs> and um, then you start saying smartphone, right? You look at the picture or you look at the thing and you say, oh, smartphone. Oh, this is a walk. All right. So I want you to start learning like that. So, you know, one thing that has really learned many of my students learn tons of vocabulary are picture dictionaries. You can look them up and maybe download one for free. Picture dictionaries and also label everything around your house. For example, uh, chair, desk, um, computer. You probably already know that vocabulary if you're watching this video. But maybe things that you do not remember, like ashtray if you're a smoker, or ring light if you're a YouTuber, <laughs> things like that. Okay, so remember, Grammar is not the most important thing. I mean, it is very important for you like to sound professional and everything, to speak correctly in order to sound professional, and especially at a job interview. But it is not, um, you know, so important. I think confidence is more important than um, grammar <laughs> when trying to learn a new language. So remember, be confident, be patient, and practice makes perfect. And if you don't use it, you lose it. So remember to use English as much as possible. Thank you so much for watching this video, and I will see you in my next video.